Oh, I see why. Alright, oops, hold on. Hey, what's up? Yes. Let's do it. Let's commentate, chat. Alright, this time I can commentate way louder, so... Okay. You're good to have a sleep. Seventeen dollars for. Fuck it, I'll just hold on. Trade one, bro. Sem UCSC sent me fucked up money. I don't give a fuck where we at. Oh my god, my diet is so bad, bro. Uh, I forgot to I forgot to stop by the gym yesterday. So I was busy. I mean, I'm going back to uh, SJ anyways this week, so. I'll feed you if you pay me. Today? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Today? I, I'm, I'm tired, bro, remember? It's already 8, bro. Bro, what happened to Obo, guess? Dude, the night's still young, my friend. Dude, last night, bro, I died, bro. You know, I'm just tired. Oh, we're on stream. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, guys, welcome to MHS Cup 2024. <laughs> YouTube intro. <laughs> Quite the commentator boost today. Huh? Quite the commentator boost today. We got a full, we like we a full, full lineup. Wait, we looking at the craziest lineup though. No cap, bro. Yeah. We out, oh. people. <laughs> we out, we out. Guys, we need to. Uh, we need a talking pillow so only one person can talk at a time. <laughs> what, nah, let's just all talk over each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine, Wait, that's fine. We out, whenever let's whenever talk someone over breaks, you. you're supposed to actually talk over one another. Actually? Is that actually no. how it's supposed to? Like, but if, there's, you, if, there's like a, if there's like a huge no, 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 no. break, Here's that, a point. Like, if there's a huge break that flips the point, mm -hmm. it's okay. But if it's, Wait, just a let's normal, do that. if it's a normal break, like, you shouldn't. Oh, okay. Like, if it's just like, if it's... If it if you're gonna lose regardless if you're gonna win or lose regardless, like it doesn't matter. Yeah, First that's fair. Pretty interesting decision from that Um I do predict a hard rock or DT1 fan. And there you go, hard rock one. What will Zichuas do now? That is his favorite map got banned. Right. Let me know when we're on stream. We are on stream. Oh fuck. <laughs> hey guys, Jack welcome to Rock MHS. Is an easy one or a hidden two band? <laughs> maybe both, or maybe an RNG. Mm. Who knows? There is a lot of picks that oh God. you could potentially pick against Zach. And I do agree. Going for both hidden bands and leaving easy one on the table. I think that's a misplay in all honesty. Maybe I'm so. not really sure if uh, both players can't play easy. Yeah. Mm. Zach definitely cannot. Judging by the, the wow. gameplay I was getting. Okay, that's that's kind of odd. Okay. Bad hidden and okay. bad. Plus, oh, wow. actually both Noma players. Are they both Noma players? Yeah. Yep. Okay. No. Leaving like the rival, no... if you ask me. Each of us is a hard rock. Uh, hard rock mate, hello? and uncle is Noma. Yes, uh, I don't really know what he's like, what he specializes in. Anthony did say that Zichuas is him but better. I'm guessing. Go. Zichuas will open strong with either a Nomad 1, Nomad 2, DT1. I think just anything that he could probably FC. <laughs> RNG. Okay. Okay. Wow. Quite the start, if you ask me, chat. 
Why is this a... Uh... Okay, you know what? You know what? It's okay. I don't... I don't really care that much. What happened? Is that, is that an actually... Is that actually RNG? Is that the actual RNG? Like, yeah, like... it is. Six. Oh... Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I was a little... <laughs> I had the same reaction. Bro, bro, chill, that was too far. Alright. Welcome to MHS Club 2024 chat. Uh, today we have two okay-ish players who who can yeah, do decent in flash. tournaments. Um, we have okay, Anton yeah. Cole as the no mod one with one trick. Like Jichuas who plays hard rock. Um, this could go down as a legendary battle. Uh, let's get right into it, chat. Not much to say here. It's a 26 second map. <laughs> I think any 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 like mistakes you make, even if it's like a couple of hundreds, oh, it's pretty oh. much over. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, yeah. It's pretty much over. over. <laughs> wait. How? Wait. Chat. Chat. Pause. Bro. Bro. Accuracy though. Oh, actually, wait, what is the accuracy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, okay. This may be. Oh, huge. Yeah. This is that. Is that a? Is that a female? Is that a female slider? The female yeah. simple slider, bro. All right. Um, the first point that's a loop from uh, Anton Cole. Pretty impressive. He did mention that he was getting 200, 300k average earlier. Well, and now it looks like easy. the uh, the ties. And Anton Cole BMing already on an orangey map. Wow. <clears throat> I'm like eating right now. I'm like feasting. Well, it'll be Anthonko's pick. It is a, a match of a century. Or maybe a. Oh, easy one. Okay. That's gonna be interesting. Alright. Looks like this could be a pretty interesting match. I don't know how comfortable Zichuas is on these kind of low AR picks. Judging based mm. off of the performances I've seen him in the past, it doesn't seem like he likes to play these kind of maps, but I guess we'll see. Please pick free mod two. Is the free mod two cat rubbing? It's my free mod two is cat rubbing. Oh. GG's. I only beat uh, Ace on it because he played easy at sight reading. I was going to play hidden, but... Both players holding an SS. Wow. Both players are holding a strong SS. Oh, and Castor Curse. But honestly, this map is like... So, so often played on easy, it's kind of, it's kind of bad for Zichuas here. I mean, I don't know how, an how much Ankle actually did play this map, you know, before even like, you know, before even like, knowing about this tournament or like... He did pull the entire pool. Yeah, I think it's already safe to say that. Oh. Sorry, not the point. Yeah. Zach is, uh, he's taking notes that aren't even there, so I think that explains it pretty well. Yeah, Leaving this on the table is... Very big misplay, in my opinion. I, I mean, feel like he had a bit better chance on maybe like hidden one, for example. I mean, even some people in this rank are like double timing this map. Whoa. On easy. BM2. Plenty of people, actually, I feel yeah, like. Plenty of people, actually, yeah. Not worth too much. I believe only around 300 pp max. Maybe 400 with really good hack and hidden DT. I think that might be the other step. What? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. An Anthonko? Anth Anthonko, yep. yeah. Yeah, Anthonko. Being very consistent here, you see the stable rate. Feeling very comfortable. Only dropping his first 100. But besides that, most of it near this the gimmick, center. gimmick player here on the left. Yeah. Man, you can just, just call him, let's just say Anthony and Zach. Yeah, yeah Anthony has been kind of 
bow aiming this entire section. <laughs> you see him, he's just like barely aiming. Green map. Very, very low, very, very low snaps. Every time he does get an opportunity, he writes the mole. The they're actually in crazy. They're they're in voice chat together right now in this. They're open I like as well. I just said to see. Boy and Dongle FC. Anthony closes it out with a 1-100 FC on GG1. Absolutely destroying the GG1 last night. It goes to show how much he played the pool and how much bias he put into the pool, you know? <clears throat> Anthony called back again with the BM. In close map. Mm. Very, very but close match, everyone. I do think I do think Zichuas does have an opportunity to get a fourth point. I mean, Anthony is going to be next to pick. Wait, is he next to pick? No. Uh, yeah, Zichuas actually does have an opportunity to probably get this back to two one. If he picks, you know, high AR, I think it could be very possible. I honestly yeah. think Anthonko probably only has like three or four picks remaining before Zach just out mechanics him. So I'm very yeah, I mean, even, if he's able to make in, the tiebreaker. Yeah, even in the easy pick, you know, that Zichuas absolutely got destroyed on. You can tell his mechanics on that map are way better than Anthony. Yeah, yeah, Anthony's, right? Anthony, you know, flow aiming a lot of it. Very weird snaps that you saw there. And kind of like carried by the fact that he just knows the map. I think it's memorization well. too. Lot. Yeah, a lot of memorization. Yeah. I think if you go into a double time pick, or even a free mod pick where Zichu uh, can like you know go into like hard rock, might be bad. Might be kind of a start of a comeback here. Mm. Although it's only two points, but could yeah. rack up a lot if he does not win this next pick. And uh, whose pick is it? Do we do we have an update? I think it's. Oh. Yeah, I don't think he sent the message. Yeah. I think it's Zichuas. One second, sorry. Zichuas, yeah. I'm getting 17 different things that all happening at the same time. If I don't see a DT1 pick, Zach is just throwing. Zichuas should know Anthonko cannot play DT. Oh, oh there we go, there we go. A bit of speed. DT2, okay. We're gonna be seeing Anthonko try and play speed live. It's gonna be Yeah. It'll be it'll be very comical if you ask a, me. A difficult challenge for him. A little more than difficult, I would say. <laughs> the Anthonko hate, Anthony hate Anthony. Sorry man, once your age starts with the two, you're just not allowed to play anything over a BPM that starts with the two. <laughs> Very looking forward to this point. I've actually never seen Zichuas play speed, but nah, I'm assuming he's pretty good at it. Well, so probably better than Anthon Cole, that is one thing I can say for sure. Yeah, I think just in every mechanics department. Yeah. Uh, stream? Oh, yep. Why is Actually, Anthaco is holding up pretty well in the beginning. Vijuas kind of low on the accuracy, but see if he can still maintain this lead. In fact, he's not. In fact, he is not. He's gonna be dropping guns. Oh, he missed. He I missed on know. nothing. Oh my god, he missed on nothing. Yeah, I think Zach's just gonna make it back here with the accuracy as well. Yes, yeah, Vijuas. Zichuas kind of slacked off at the beginning, but starting to finally stabilize. Going to stay stagnant on that 95 until he, you know, misses or, you know, 
use the stamina or hits light. But none of that happening right now as we enter the break. And Danko with the B, Zichuas still with the FC. Yeah, it might be a bit too late. Maybe if Zach breaks right now and Anthony S's the rest. Oh, oh and that exactly might be break. possible. He what does the, break a bit on the finger control, but... Thing. It's pretty much subtle. It's pretty much subtle. I think... Yeah, it is, it's already on point. If he does, yeah, if he does maybe if Anthony Uncle had a higher yeah. accuracy, it might have been possible. Sichuas disconnects right now, though. Hmm. <laughs> A somewhat impressive score from Ant Uncle kind of exceeded everyone's expectations, I feel like. I by an entire mile or light year, I could say. You probably did better on the map than I could do. That was decently close. In 210 BPM. Point is going to go to the act here. Still down a point after losing his first pick here, but it's still a chance for Zach to come back here and tie up the score again. We'll just see what Anthony picks here. Most likely going to go Nomad 6. Yep. Nomad 6. Didn't even hesitate mm -hmm. on that yeah, pick. Nomad 6. I think he wants revenge. He really wants to show no mercy against this guy. But unfortunately, if he does win this Nomad 6, I don't see any other picks that he has other than Fremont 2 potentially. Anthony is good at Nomad 3 too. Um, how good do you think uh, Zichuas is on Nomad 3? I'm seen pretty seen sure he's a solid all around player. Just but don't Zach, put him on low AR. Zichuas does have infinitely more picks. I think it comes down to mostly the level of practice here. And Bongo getting. Seeming to be very comfortable in practice with all these maps. Each watch, I'm pretty sure he's sight reading a lot of them. This one is much more doable though. It's gonna be AR 8.3, not even AR 8. So <laughs> you know, Oopsie. although although you might get like a lot of like misconception with like very high mechanics player not being like a lot of mechanics players like not being able to play like AR 8. You know, that's that's not like always the case and we might see we might see Zichuas possibly get a break from here you know if an uncle does manage to get a miss the players look extremely comfortable however once if the map does become really dense i believe uh, Zichuas will struggle a lot we do have to see though i mean i'm like i'm like the easy this is way more than readable and way more the map is decently long as well. Yeah. And like seeing the accuracy, it's pretty much even. Zichuas actually going to drop a lot of 100 there, but still very even. Oh, and Zichuas oh. will break right I on think that slider. Miss. But still a lot, a lot of nerves for Anthokal. If he does miss here and drop a couple of 100s, it will be back on track. And, you know, not to mention, I mean, we're at the halfway point. Possibly, you could say two-thirds, but, you know, breaking more in the middle is worse than, you know, anywhere else in the map. See if Anthonkel can hold on. Mm. Cross, I'm going to break again. Anthonkel is looking very comfortable. He's looking very, very comfortable. Finally breaks, I but... I kind of missed there, but I think at this point it's he's... too late. Yeah, he has he's built up like 200 or 300 more combo than Zichuas. And, yo, given the patterns of this pick so far, yo, I thought that was not going to break anytime soon. Might actually ask you the rest of that. Seems like he is. And that is a point for Anthonko. Uh, yeah, really good. Nice on this map, 
Very unfortunate side of given, given this is a much more technical map than something like the easy. It's it's a better it's a better is even better showing, honestly. Getting five one hundreds on such a slider heavy map on AR eight kinda gave some hope to Zishuas. But unfortunately, even this was enough. Be up three to one. Now Zichuas going to pick next. The game sense is Riz. I typed Riz and it put Lizzie in the chat. <laughs> Maybe auto corrected. And Zichuas chooses DT1. I think uh, Zichuas is needing to get this map. This map. And this is arguably, this is arguably, luck. and this is arguably an even more deadly. This is an even more deadly pick than DT2 because this is the A map, you know, speed aim, burst, stamina. Well, less stamina than DT2, but this does this have is, you know, even more anti anti uncle. Well, Being air eight though, it is also Yorishka. I believe this map is kind of not DTable, if I do recall. Mm. Um, I was put in the pool just because of, you know, Yorshka filling that quota. But we will see how the map plays out. And you do have to eye that BPM as 210. You know, any bursts there going to favor Zichuas a lot. And Anthako might have to just prioritize hitting these bursts and just building as much combo, even if it means getting low accuracy. And it may seem like that it's gonna happen. He is hovering below 90. Oh, really struggling with that at the moment. Yeah, the Zichuas is up, actually, finally at the same level. Does drop a couple of hundreds on the peppers. But it is gonna come down to that first miss, and you know it's going to happen. These are, you know, two players that have not I've seen anything besides, you know, Anthony on the EZ. Oh! It was actually the first one to break. A lucky break! break. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Donkle trades it back. Wow, this could be and anyone's Anthony point. Anthony is leading 2%. Hopefully he can uh, maybe widen that gap. Oh, but he drops a lot of 50s on that triplet. Both players are like surpassing my expectations so much. They're playing stuff that I didn't know they can play. Oh, Thunkle actually breaks though. <laughs> he does break though. Point is going to be shifted back. He might not be able to get the break point. Just with the small combo lead, the gap is so close. Ooh. But you know, Anthonkle... I need another break. break. He does... He does. He is able to afford this, you know. Oh, when you see it. Oh, when you see it. Denied, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but as I said earlier, Anthako can afford this breakpoint. Denied, you know. Still up by two points. If he loses this, he'll still be up by one. But Zichuas is actually looking comfortable now, getting First back into the game. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna get to 500 combo. Oh, wow. Again, just gonna be the whole ki here. This may be a point for Tichuas. There was a lot of close calls in his combo. I think he's uh, slowly getting some nerves. But finding himself a miss at the very end of the map, and the point goes to Zichuas. Kind of a do or die situation for him, but very fortunately, much so. does keep himself still in the competition. Only one point behind. And honestly, looking very scary. I mean, if you really lost that second break point, I honestly think that could have been over for him. These are picks that, you know, is pretty much guaranteed on paper for him to win. And fortunately, he survives. Still on that even level. I think he's going to pick Nomad 4 as his next pick. Oh. I'm not quite sure if he does win tech against Zichuas. I believe um, his, all of his last remaining picks are potentially going to be very, very close uh, against Zichuas. You do have to realize, though, you know, that, that Nomad 6 pick 
also pretty techy, but you know, factoring it also that low AR given, you know, he does do pretty well. But I imagine Zichos will be uh, way more comfortable with the uh, higher AR. I mean, it is only 9.3, but it should be doable for him. But you hmm. still have that higher accuracy, you know, factor from Anthony that's been, you know, showcasing throughout this entire match, even on picks that. You know, he's so unfavored. He's still only behind by 1% or 2%. So, on his own pick, the Nomad 4 is a tech pick. It has sliders. You know, and tech is not necessarily about just finger control and, you know, hitting those sliders. It's also about reading. And you can tell right away, Zichua is going to be down 9%. Oh. Yeah, those oh, early mistakes are not helping him at all, especially since the map is 2 minutes. Yeah, so every actually, break that they do is going to be pretty detrimental to the final score. Actually, a little more even. Anthony did break a little later, but Zikwa does trade it back. Zach is pretty comfortable hitting these ladder ends as well. The combo is dead even, the points are dead even. It's only a- Oh! Oh! And oh, it's traded though. It is traded. It is traded. Does favor Zichuas at the end of the day. He is up it's by 2,000 points. Well. He is up by 2,000 points. So let's see, who is going to break next? It's gonna be Zichuas. He's gonna break again, gonna switch, flip back to Anthony's side. But is so close. And that accuracy drop, going to solidify... Yeah, Zichuas' lead for a brief moment, but... Break comes in, Anthony up by 2,000 points, as he's been for a good chunk of the map. So close. And both of these players are, you know, kind of dropping at the same spots. Gonna take ooh, a real, oh, like, hard player moment. Just breaks to, one more time here. One break that he couldn't have afforded. And it's safe to say that the point does go over to Anthony. Yeah, Better nerves on Anthony's side, miss aiming a lot of these. Yeah, you can see his cursor is uh, sort of miss aiming a lot of things, but that does not matter at this moment. Yeah, good pick. It's a very good pick. Does know that his opponent is mechanically at advantage, but you know, at the end of the day, if you can't hit those sliders, I mean, it's not going to matter too much on these kinds of slider heavy maps. Oh, that's kind of it. That is kind of it. You you just have Nomad 5 and 1 to 3. It's gonna be a do or die still for Zichuas, but I think he has a better chance to win these next maps. Although I don't really know how the free mod 2 is like. Or the free mod 1. Ooh, stream. I'm gonna assume that the free mod one and free mod two are pretty conventional. Free mod two is pretty conventional. It's just a matter of mod one, I'm not when sure. or if either of them will pick. I'm guessing Ant and Uncle will probably pick it soon. So yeah, what what Nushi was saying before, Nomad two is most likely gonna get picked. I mean, this is a this is a plus minus plus. This is what is it? 170 BPM, like, death streams. Actually, what a lot. Five. No five. Okay. five. Wow. I guess Quite the is... pick from Jituos. I guess he's Seeing gonna win. save... I guess he's gonna save the best for last. Nomad 2 is going to be... kind of his... I don't know... his... his... his, uh... most important pick. So it'd be best not to pick it right now. Yeah, especially since if Anthonkel gets one more point, that just guarantees tiebreaker, and uh, Zach should probably not put himself in a position like that. Oh, no beat map selected. What? Oh my god. Um. Uh, hit the panic button, maybe. Panic. Panic. Just try, just try, um, resending the map. 
You want me to resend the map? Yeah. yeah. Is that gonna abort them? Because I started the match. No. Okay. I think so. Will BPM is no mod five? Not sure. It, wait. Yeah, I don't know the song. Wait, do I? Oh. It's a uh, 20 check. BPM burst map. Two twenty. So I and Donkle will probably struggle under the lot, especially with speed. It would be nice uh, if we could watch it, watch but it. seems to be having some issues here with the twenty client. Huh. Looks like, uh, place your bets on the scores. I think I'm going to guess Zach gets lost. 600k and Anthony gets 440k. Okay. I will place my bets. I believe, uh, Zach will get 800k and Anthony will, uh, say, we can do the blink method. <laughs> Yeah, they're like trading misses right now. Daniel, your, rever your reverse sweeps sweeps are both probably. Your reverse sweeps are both so hype, but also they make me so sad when I watch them. Because <laughs> it's like, man, that could have been an FC. But like at the same time, it's like that's 800k is like a really good score. Just don't put this guy in a low star pool. Looks like, huh? Uh, maybe check the MP link for updates. I feel like the map is over by now. Uh, I would get it. Oh, and Entonko actually beats Zichuas by 300k points. What? Wait, oh. what? Wait, what? Oh, Entonko with 626, Zichuas with 308k. How does that even? What an happen? incredible! That's a really bad loss for Zichuas here. That's gonna leave him. Leave it a match point for Anthonkel here. Potentially being his last pick, depending on what Anthonkel picks here. But I think that I think that tiebreaker, that forced tiebreaker is gonna happen. I mean, a lot of these maps are still so anti-Anthony. You know, it's gonna it's gonna take a lot from him to really win these next picks. And yes, this no mod five is a huge it's a huge pick for, point for him, but. Man. What a pick. I don't and know. What a, I don't know. What, what a turn of events. None of us expected that. After seeing the performance from Anthonkel on DT2 there, and he's going to go straight into frame on 2 here. This might just be over for Zichuas. However, he is able to play Hardock on this. We may potentially see... All these see maps are just... Oh, close. And I believe the Fremont 2 will probably be no different. Alright. <sighs> this will be very interesting to watch. This literally sounds like Martian Mary to me. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's a recycled music. Literally. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this is definitely. <laughs> What if it's just a cover? <laughs> Remix. Okay, okay they're both, both going, going hard rock, rock. surprisingly. That's wow. Interesting wow. to see from Anthonkel here. I'd expect here. to see a hitter preference, but... A hitter or easy preference is usually what I would expect from him, but... This Actually, the song... This be a miss mod. Actually, the song was in, um... I should guess... Grand Finals. Ooh. I don't know why. need this to find an early slider rig. Yeah, imagine he's going Ooh. to struggle a lot with precision in general. But Zach is struggling even harder. The two percent Akka deficit. An early miss too. But the combo is not that far down. I mean, the gap Akka. is pretty sizable now. But give it, you know, a minute or two. If they don't break, I think Zichuas will be much closer. But you have to see more breaks from Anthony. His accuracy is way too high. It's a and really impressive combo from Anthonkel so far. This, mar this map is not beating the Marcy Mary allegations. <laughs> Alright. 
If this we does continue... We're consistently dropping 100s here, though. Yeah, he's just gonna be further and further behind. Uh, that gap. SND is dropping so little 100s. He's only dropped about 5 or 6 100s in that ki. It's absolutely insane. And this is on Hard Rock as well. This is a this is a mod that no one really expected. <laughs> this guy was, yeah, this guy was like getting out mechanic, you know. And yes, his accuracy has been better than Zach's <laughs> for most of the match. But they do say that diamonds are made under pressure, and Ant Uncle is just a perfect representation of that. His performance so far this match is unbelievable. I would have never expected this from him. Oh, he's dropping a lot of 100s though. It's gonna get a little tighter, but he still has that. Oh, oh, oh I'm gonna break he's there. The the combo. If this is the combo. The, the, the combo is. Oh no! Oh, Zichuas breaks though. Zichuas does break though. But that might no have been combo enough though. The there's no combo left. That final break. That's yeah, breaking again. again. That was five percent active that best. Oh, he could have. And the ended point the match will right be going to Zichuas here. Could have ended the match right here and there, but <laughs> what an unfortunately, under aims the sliders and a couple of those notes. It's still not be... over for Zichuas, going straight back into his own pick. Yeah. And with that, that, that he... in fact, is that even is that the first breakpoint for Zichuas? I sure. believe be. so. That, that is the first breakpoint for Zichuas. Zach won on his DT picks. Yeah, so he farmer. won on his points. When I'm a farmer. I believe we'll see either a Nomad 1 or Nomad 2 pick here from Zichuas. However, maybe he's still feeling really good with Hard Rock and want to go Free Mod 1. Is, is Free Mod uh, Over Mod or. Is Free Mod uh... Over Mod? For, Z for Zichuas? So, like, is it comfortable? Oh, yeah. Just a standard consistency pick. They do both really excel at it, but if you add mods into the uh, equation, not completely sure. This is Zichuas' last that? pick, so he does have to think long and hard about it. No more two. Interesting. Right, no more two is finally coming out. This is this is gonna be very very tense. I mean, <laughs> even if you were a dedicated stream player, you break in this map, or if you break in no more twos, it's over. So, nerves at an all-time high if he does want to keep moving on. Kirby. Oh my god. I think you really do have to- you really do have to play this combo game here. There's- there's really not any other way to do this. Majority of these maps are just so short. There's just there's no room for error at all. Ah. Uh. Getting a little intense now. Oh, many hundred. A break from Anthon Cole. Zichuas is holding on to that combo by a thread. He is so low on- he's actually up on accuracy, and Akko did break way too much on that one stream. So he's gonna be down a lot. But Zichuas has shown on this pick so far that he has been- he has been a little inconsistent on these bursts. As we enter this next oh. stream section. The slider break. Yeah, he does slider break, but still up by about 60k. And Anthony cannot afford to break anymore. He is so down. It's starting to go back to his favor, but. His accuracy is not helping him at all. Oh my 
Oh uh, wow! Yeah, the impressive couple game of performance from Antonko. He's overstreaming everything. But that Jackson, combo. I think he's under aiming. I think he's under aiming some of the streams. If he breaks, it's just over for him. In fact, point lead is going to his favor. He's building up so much combo, but if he breaks, it's going to be all over him. But if he holds on to the combo, it's going to be a mad victory for him. Ezekiel is going to be the first to break. And the map is over, and that is going to be Anthony moving on. An amazing combo that has been built up to secure that last point. One more point. But I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is the last point. No, it's over. You want a best out of best out of eleven? Yeah, and and Thalco just got his six point. Oh, what it says? Okay, on the on the stream. It I says, think you removed the pump accident. Huh. I think it's because that one match wasn't. Yeah, it didn't mark it. There you go. Well, GG's to both players. GG's to Anthony for winning in winner's bracket quarterfinals. Good On his team. own tournament and his own map pool. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and Uncle Supremacy. Ah, what a match. Alright, let's wait for them to join the call soon, maybe? Hopefully. <laughs> to update the sheet. Okay, bye bye. See you. Good night. No, okay. <laughs> wow, that was a that was a match. Quite the match. I'm surprised Zach just kind of fell apart in most of them. Oh, he could have easily won RNG one. Yeah. And it's, and I mean, it just honestly it just comes down to Anthony just practicing the map beforehand. Yeah. In all fairness to Zach. He did just come back from, uh, and with like no practice over break because I don't think he can play on his home setup as well as he can in Santa yeah, Cruz. Yeah, he kind of got like setup gap. He's rusty. Zach would have beat Anthony like ten times over. <laughs> yeah, oh, 100 percent. Anthony hates trade. I'll go ahead and stream there. Oh, we're still alive. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Anything racist you want to say before they leave? So they they're going to get us better. <laughs> <laughs>